being here. If you've ever wondered what people's beef is with stock photography, then you're going to love today's chat because I'm talking with um, Adele from Super Funky Penguin Photography about what brand photography is and why everyone's telling you you need it. If I can just grab her. Which one do you press? It's the people, isn't it? That's an icon. Let's see. Hi, uh, my light suddenly Hi. decided to go psychedelic, so um, yeah, I won't touch it. <laughs> How are you? You're here, you're here, I'm happy. Thank you so much for being here. No I'm worries. just going to say, um, I, I'm still too anxious with lives to be able to cope with reading comments and, ask, um, and answering questions. I'm just going to say that to anyone watching now. <laughs> um, Adele. Thank you for being here. Please, can you introduce yourself? Yes, um, I'm Adele. I'm a brand photography specialist and I run Super Funky Penguin Photography. Um, yeah, that, that's it, really. I work with um, <laughs> small businesses, uh, basically telling their story with amazing photos. <laughs> and so the first part of my question today is what is brand photography? That's a good question, Amy. <laughs> okay, so it's it's far far more than just a headshot we are way beyond the days where businesses business owners people in the corporate world would just go out and have a photographer come and just take a headshot with a bland background because basically everyone ends up looking the same you don't get a sense of who the person is or what the business is all about or the vibe of the business or anything anything like that mm -hmm. so we've moved now towards more storytelling photography which i'm really pleased about because it's right up my street it's what i've been doing for years is telling stories through photos rather than just the kind of awkward posed stilted kind of images so brand photography is all about um telling the story of you your business getting your vibe across in a way that your ideal client will really get it they'll see the pictures of you what you do and go yeah no that's interesting and it stops them scrolling it makes them stop and have a closer look and it gets that message across really really quickly so it's a very very powerful tool i totally agree and i guess that's um when i meant when i started the chat this morning i mentioned people's kind of problem with stock photography you know in including my own when people say to me you know i'm kind of just thinking are you stock for my new website and i and i try and explain kind of why and i'm like oh and i and i have to try and explain why that's a problem um which is why i wanted to speak to you today so um the the second part of my question is, so that's what brand photography is. Yep. Why is it important? What's the benefit to us as business owners of investing in a brand photography shoot? <laughs> well, I think most, most of my clients, not all of them, most of them are a little reluctant to get in front of, in front of the lens. They think, why do people need to see me? Why do I need to tell my story? As you say, just use stock imagery because that gets the message across. But stock imagery is really impersonal. When you put yourself there, it gives people a chance to actually get to know you, to get a feel for what you're about. You let them in a little bit and, you know, people are nosy. They like to know who's behind the business, especially as small business owners. We are our business. We are our business. Whether you have a product or a service, people are buying when they make a purchase from you or when they work with you, they're buying a piece of you. So they kind of want to know what you're all about. Um, so yeah it's a way of you you make sure that you're coming across in a very professional way uh, it doesn't have to be stuffy professional but you show that you know what you're doing and you're giving a consistent message and that consistency is crucial because you start to build trust 
So people encounter you once and they see what you're about and then they see you again and then they see something else. And all those images tie in together. You've got that consistency, that professional consistency. And as the trust builds, they're far more likely to then move on to become paying clients because they've got to know you. You're a familiar face. Your tools are familiar. Your hobbies are familiar because the brand photography is more than just pictures of your business it's about um very much about you and what's important to you so if you have values or things that you love doing hobbies that you do you can draw that into the story of brand photography and every so often post something up about that so people get a broader picture of who you are and what you're all about love it and definitely um as much as we love creating websites where we're um showing off our clients strengths and talents and experience and, um, and who they are yeah. so that people will buy from them um it's 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 all that, that's what it's ultimately about isn't it? it's about people trusting them as you've mentioned a few times trusting that person enough to hand over their money yeah. um, so if we don't have a product because you know i like to uh, I'm talking, yeah, I'm specialising, I'm talking to people with service-based businesses. Um, what does that mean for people like me? So I've not got a product, I've not got, you know, a jumper to photograph. Um, I offer a service, my service is me. Yeah. Um, how can we use brand photography in that situation if we haven't got something to photograph? Well, that is even more powerful. We have got something to photograph, we've got you. We've got yeah. you and your smiling face. <laughs> um it's it's more than just as I say it's more than just headshots and it's it goes beyond products as you say we I, I offer a service you offer a service but in a way it's so important if you offer a service to to get yourself out there because when you're booking an appointment with somebody what's the first thing you do you go on the website you try and find the picture of them yeah. because yeah, you're going yeah. to meet up with them or you can have a zoom with them you want to know what they look like before you have a chat mm -hmm. Am I, am I the yeah. only one that does that? <laughs> no, I no. Don't and if, so. you know, at the very least, I say to people, at the very least, if I was looking at a website and thinking of um, investing in some way, purchasing something from them, if I can't see them anywhere, that my, my last ditch attempt at seeing them is, is I'll go to the about page. And if there's, if there's not a photo there, not even one little headshot, I start, I start to feel suspicious. Yes. Yeah, but I can't see any. I can, I, you know, we can recognise stock, 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 stock. Even if it's even if it's really great stock, yeah, um, maybe stock we paid for, um, really great stock. It's still we know we yeah. are. Yeah, uh, anyone watching this today will know they know when they see stock, and so um, you can't make that connection. So I will always, at the very least, go to the about page and be like, is there just even just a little little something yeah. I can see? And then it doesn't have to be all about your face, obviously. In fact, it's best if it isn't. So we get um, lovely shots of, so the, the photos I take are very much people in action. So it's not your standard headshot, it's business owners doing their thing. So if they're quite- What sort facing, of shots would you, what, what sort of, for a service-based business, what yeah. sort of shots would you, well, would if you, you think? So for example, for, for, for me, for example, yeah. I'm really just at my laptop all day, just at my laptop. Yeah. So how we exciting can that be? What, what shots would you take? <laughs> I'd work on your posture so you're not like this. Um, so okay. photos of you at work, at your desk, photos of just your desk, the sort of close in detail shot of your hands on the keyboard or making notes in a, in a, a book. You, um, you do also meet clients. So we've got that customer facing thing. So we get somebody and we get a friend in to pretend to be a client. Yeah. And then... <laughs> exactly so back of the head or side of the head and then we get that lovely warm feeling of seeing you actually interacting with people actually you know your face lights up and you become animated um and then it's things like well you've got you'll have meetings with rich won't you yeah so the two of you together having a chat occasionally yeah <laughs> occasionally when, when you see him <laughs> making yeah. coffee making yeah. a coffee is another one and then um there's the more relaxed shots as well where you're sitting having a cuppa maybe um doing so because you can work wherever so a shot in a cafe having a, a cup of coffee um doing a zoom call so yeah. that can be fun lots of yeah. hand I, I do it a lot lots of hands in front of everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um but then it can be if getting fresh air 
getting out and about, being mindful in nature, if these kinds of things are important, then we go outside and we go for a walk and you get some photos of you, you know, in down, you know, having some downtime and it creates so a broader picture of who you are. Yeah. And it means that people are drawn to you because if they have the same values, then, you know, that's going to, they're going to really spot that and identify with that straight away. Um, another thing is you support a lot of local businesses. So it would be great to get a shot of you actually in one of the businesses local to you making a purchase. Yeah. So it's, it's yeah. all that kind of thing where you can use an image to tell a story on social media, on your website and yeah, a way that resonates with people. You're bursting with ideas, Adele. I can tell there's lots more, lots more ideas where that came from. That was just thinking about me. Um, thank you so much, Adele. I really appreciate your time today. And I'm so glad that our local clients can book you as an add-on service for their website if they want to. Um, I'm going to tag you in the comments so people can find and follow you if they want to. I'm so grateful. Oh, my you. pleasure. My pleasure. Short and sweet, as usual. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll speak to you soon. Speak to you soon. Thank you so much, Adele. <laughs> Bye. Bye.